back in 1969 when I was four and a half years old. My mother, my father and a few friends all hopped into a van and uh, headed off on a very long journey from England to Sri Lanka overland. Overland? All the way? And I said, great, let's do it. I can't feel your dreams. He could make things happen that other people thought was impossible. I can't touch your Sometimes the facts and your memories aren't always compatible. So we're going to try and recreate it. We're going to try and get on that trip and head off and travel those roads. Well, Mum, what we're going to do today is cook rice and lentils. In Sri Lanka, someone else would do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, on the road, you're going to do it. On the road, we had all powders. We didn't have anything to crush. Dad one day sat me down in the lounge and he said to me, listen, if you decide that you want to take the wrong path, you can't have my name. Even in Sri Lanka, he used to sit us between his legs and say, right, you're driving. That's how I learned to drive. You too? We all did. Just get out of the car, go into that restaurant, ask for a job. And I walked in there and I loved it. I was cooking main courses within a week or two. He was so confident and so strong that he didn't worry about anything. He just, if I didn't know what's behind us, I would turn around and go back to London. <laughs> Keep talking. I can't talk and eat at the same time. 